How's it going folks? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. Do you ever use auto hide on your macOS dock? Well in this video I'm going to show you a handy tip to speed up or get rid of the animation. So there are a variety of ways to enable auto hide on your macOS dock. One way is to right click on the separator, select dock preferences, and then just check where it says automatically hide and show the dock. So I have that checked and auto hide is enabled. Super simple, right? But the problem with hiding the dock, at least for me, because I'm a little over the top, I admit, but there is a perceivable delay when you place your mouse cursor at the bottom of the screen to reveal your dock. You can see there's just a little bit of a delay there and that animation kicks in and it's just not as responsive as I would personally like it to be. So whenever I reinstall macOS, one of the first things I do is to fix this issue via a terminal command. So I'm just gonna open up the terminal window and gonna paste in the following command. Now this command, you can find it on the post on 9to5Mac, will outright get rid of the animation. So when I press return, it's gonna automatically restart the dock and then my changes are applied immediately. So you'll notice now that the animation is completely gone. It's a little jarring admittedly. Uh, it just basically appears and disappears instantly with no animation whatsoever, which looks a little bit out of place on macOS where there's so many beautiful animations across the UI. So instead of setting a value of zero like we did previously, we're gonna introduce a float value of 0.25. So this will give a little bit of an animation to the dock without being overly long and drawn out. So let's check it out now and see how it looks, see if there's any difference there with the delay. And you can see while it does appear much quicker, there is a little bit of a discernible animation which makes it a lot better, a lot less jarring in my opinion. So you can adjust the float value to your liking. Higher is gonna make a longer animation. Uh, if you wanna get rid of the auto hide time modifier, you can enter this command. Again, all these commands will be available on the post on 9to5Mac and that will set everything back to normal how it was from the get go. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know, do you use auto hide? Would you consider reducing the auto hide delay or would you consider getting rid of it altogether? Let me know down below in the comment section and leave me a thumbs up if you appreciated this video. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.